Hey, welcome back. I hope you're all well. I earned a few quid this week. Now, mainly, I hope you're all well. Money's not everything. Trouble is, we need it, don't we? So, this video, I'm going to turn this piece of hazel into a lighthouse. Magic! So, <laughs> now what I'm going to do, the bottom half, well, just this, this amount, about three, four inches, I'm going to do that with a draw knife to make it a bit more rougher. That's going to resemble the rock, the bottom of the lighthouse. The rest of it, this, I'm going to turn on the lathe. It's going to be um, a present for my daughter, Sonia. She mentioned on my last video, can you make me something, Dad? Well, this is going to be it, all right? This is going to be a Christmas present. You yeah, bloody cheapskate. Anyway, I hope she likes it. Keep watching. We'll see how we get on, eh? Thank you, and I'll catch you in a bit. Yeah, like I said, I'm just going to use the draw knife on the bottom half of the wood. Right, so I'm just going to cut a tenant on the back so I can reverse it round and put it on the chuck. Right, just yeah, just starting to shape it up a bit now. The video's running at four times normal speed. Starting to take shape, hopefully. Yeah, just a little bit of fine tuning now. Eh? Everybody needs a bit of fine tuning. Just get rid of the rough edges and a bit of sanding. Right, so what I'm doing now, I'm using this carbide chisel. Let's turn the lathe the right way first. That's gonna go in, and that is gonna act as a bed joint. And then what I've got next, like I've got this heat gun, and that is gonna be the perk joint. So like sort of simulating like stonework really. Mark the next one. This is the bed joint. Cut it in. Get the old heat gun. Burn another one in. And so on and so on.
Yeah, quite a quick worker. <laughs> So I filled all the perp joints in, now I'm going to get my um, copper wire up and cut burning in the bed joints. I messed the first one up as you can see but I rectify that in a minute. It's just lining it up with the glue. And that's all the bed joints run through like that. Quite effective. Right, so I'm using this old tape that used to belong to my dad many years ago. It's got a leather case, look. Marking segments of an inch. Marking round. And obviously you couldn't use a normal tape like that. The metal tape wouldn't bend round any sense. Once I've marked them, then I get the old heat gun out again. Put on my tool rest. And sort of mark, marking for like what would have been the millions of the window, something like that. But for some reason, some reason I didn't keep them very straight. I thought putting them on the rest would have kept straight, but I sort of run uphill a little bit. Never mind, it doesn't look too bad.
So, I mean, how long have you been doing lighthouses? Yeah, a bit of parky for you. What do you reckon then? Not too bad, eh? Come out all right with the old stonework. No light in there, but maybe on the next one. And the sort of rock effect on the bottom with the blowtorch doesn't come out too bad. So there you go, Sonia. Happy Christmas. <laughs> anyway, I hope you like the video. Um, if I don't see it before Christmas, or if I don't see it before, yeah, if I don't see it before Christmas, have a happy Christmas and happy new year. And remember, press the old like button on the YouTube video. <laughs> And subscribe if you if you feel like it. Anyway, I've been Roy Leonard. I'll catch you in my next video. Goodbye. <laughs>